Franco belongs to one of Argentina's few remaining indigenous groups, the Toba. After years of sleeping on the floor of her home in the impenetrable forest, she contracted Chagas disease, an illness spread by insects often found living in the walls of traditional clay huts. My heart feels heavy. My stomach's bloated. My head aches and I can't sleep. <laughs> It can take up to 10 years before people suffering from Chagas disease start to show symptoms such as heart, digestion and neurological problems, by which time it's often too late to save their life. Oh, it's very difficult. Access to medical care is near on impossible for many of the Toba who can't afford to travel to Buenos Aires for treatment. Isolated deep in the forest, they often simply take paracetamol to calm the pain. For almost a year, all they've been able to do is stay in bed. In Argentina, three million people are thought to be infected. The majority live in the country's most remote and impoverished regions. Twice a year, a group of volunteer doctors travel to the impenetrable forest to treat the toba and raise awareness through prevention campaigns. Working with children is their priority. If a patient is treated in time and in the correct way, then there's a chance of survival because their antibodies are reinforced. It's possible if the person is treated before the age of 10 or 12. After that, it's too late because the illness is too developed. And there's only so much the doctors can do. They're calling on the government to help fund the construction of better homes to protect some of their most vulnerable communities.